Now let's have the plurality with elimination method. So just like border method, plurality with elimination method also considers alternative option. After ranking each candidate using the same scheme as that of the border count, the candidate or option with the smallest number of first place votes will be eliminated. Ranking of the candidates do not change from round to round. In case there are two alternatives that have the same lowest votes, then both should be eliminated. Let us answer example number two using the method of plurality with elimination. Okay, so from the previous, from example number one, okay, so we count the number of first place votes for each candidate. So we have here uh, 12 for candidate A for the first, this is the first round, and then B, 16, candidate C has 18 first place votes, candidate D, 4. So the lowest for this round, uh, candidate should be eliminated. It has the lowest first place votes. And then we rank again, we rank the remaining candidates, but the ranking should should not change. So for example, here we have uh, one, two, three for a total of 12 votes. So one, this now be two, and then three. And then one, two, this is third, three. And then one, two, three. And then one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Now for candidate A, uh, candidate A has two uh, first place votes under 12 and 4. So 12 plus 4 is 16. Rank B has only one, but the total votes under this ranking scheme is 16. So we have 16 here. Candidate C has 8. Okay, and then 10. The total is 18. Now, since uh, candidates A and B are tied at 16 votes, therefore 18 should win the, or candidate C wins the election by this particular method. The next method is called the top two runoff method. The, the two candidates with the most number of first place votes are removed from the preference list and then are re ranked again for the new preference list. The one with the higher first place votes in the new preference list between the two candidates will be declared the winner. So the top two runoff method satisfies, take note, satisfies the majority criteria. Apply the two top run of method to the preference list from example number two. So we consider again the table in example number two. Okay, so I'll be using again Okay, so we get the top two highest two, so that would be candidate B and C. Okay. And then we rerun again. So this is one, two. And then for candidate B, okay, so 1, okay, 16, okay. and then 12, so 
So here we have 12, plus 8, here, and then 10, and plus here 1, plus 4. So the total is 34 book books. So therefore, by this method, candidate C, all, candidate C wins the election, and take note that is, this is a majority. It represents the majority of the total books, it's, which is uh, 25 plus 1 to 26. Let's have appro approval voting system. In this type of voting, a voter may choose more than one option or candidate. So each of the votes coming from one voter will be counted as one vote, and the one with the most total of votes will be declared the winner. So for large elections, approval voting may be considered a better method because it measures the overall support for a particular candidate. For the method of first wise comparisons, each candidate is compared head to head with each of the candidates. The candidate with the most number of wins from these comparisons will be declared the winner. This method satisfies the majority condorcet and monotonicity criteria of fairness in voting, which will be discussed in detail in the next section. Okay, let's have the measuring fairness in voting. In voting, what do we mean by fair? So when we say that the results of an election are fair, or a particular voting method is fair, in this section, we define some of the basic criteria of fairness, which can be used to measure um, fairness in voting. The majority criteria. If a, if a candidate receives the majority of first three votes in an election, then this candidate should be declared the winner. The Condorcet criterion, if a candidate is a Condorcet candidate, then he should be the winner of the election. Monotony, um, monotonicity criterion, suppose candidate X wins an election, if the supporters of an other candidate change their votes to support candidate X, then this candidate must win the new election as well. Independence of Irrelevant Alternatives or IIA, suppose candidate X wins an election, if a losing candidate withdraws from the race, then candidate X should remain the winner of the new election. According to Arrow's impossibility theorem, it is impossible to develop a voting method that will satisfy all of the four basic criteria of fairness. So the following table summarizes the performance of the voting methods discussed in this lesson with respect to the four fairness criteria. Okay, so uh, so I consider the here plurality, border, pairwise comparison, and the top two run up. Okay, so for okay, for, for the majority, uh, the plurality and pairwise comparison uh, satisfies the majority. Also the top top two run up. And for Condorcet, only the per, pairwise comparison. And then monotonicity, uh, plurality, border count, pairwise comparison. And then for IIA, none of these methods satisfies this particular uh, criteria. For more examples and exercises, the ebook is available from the link provided below. Thank you.